The rise in homelessness in the United States is a complex issue influenced by a variety of social, economic, and political factors. This multifaceted problem reflects systemic challenges within the country, including housing affordability, income inequality, systemic racism, mental health and substance abuse issues, and gaps in the social safety net. Here, we explore these contributing factors in more detail to understand the root causes of this crisis. One of the most significant factors contributing to homelessness is the severe lack of affordable housing across the country. The United States has seen a substantial increase in housing prices, both for renters and home buyers, outpacing income growth for many Americans. This disparity makes it increasingly difficult for low-income individuals and families to find stable housing. Federal and state housing assistance programs are insufficient to meet the demand, leaving many people just one financial setback away from homelessness. After a divorce, the need to find new living arrangements can put immense financial pressure on individuals. The cost of divorce itself, including legal fees, can deplete savings and increase debt. Men, who historically may have been the primary earners, might find themselves responsible for alimony and child support payments. These obligations, coupled with the need to secure new housing, can significantly strain their finances, making it difficult to afford stable housing. Divorce can also lead to disruptions in employment, especially if the divorce process is lengthy or contentious. Stress, mental health issues, or the need to relocate can affect job performance and stability. Income inequality has widened significantly in recent decades. The economic gains have disproportionately benefited the wealthiest individuals, leaving behind the middle and lower income brackets. This growing inequality means that more people earn incomes insufficient to cover basic living expenses, including housing, healthcare, education, and food. When individuals and families cannot afford these essentials, they are at a higher risk of becoming homeless. Mental health and substance abuse issues are both causes and consequences of homelessness. The lack of comprehensive mental health services and substance abuse treatment programs leaves many individuals without the support they need. The deinstitutionalization movement of the 1970s and 1980s, intended to treat people with mental illnesses in less restrictive settings, unfortunately coincided with a lack of investment in community-based treatment options, leaving many without adequate care. The social safety net in the United States, designed to protect individuals and families from poverty, has significant gaps. Programs like Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, and Medicaid are often underfunded and do not reach all those in need. Eligibility criteria can be stringent, and benefits may not be sufficient to cover basic living costs in many parts of the country. Additionally, many at-risk individuals, such as undocumented immigrants, face barriers to accessing these services. Domestic violence is a leading cause of homelessness among women and children. Victims often have to choose between staying in an abusive relationship or facing homelessness. Limited availability of emergency shelters and long-term housing solutions for survivors further exacerbates this issue. Systemic racism plays a crucial role in the homelessness crisis. Historical and ongoing racial discrimination in housing, employment, education, and the criminal justice system has disproportionately affected black, indigenous, and people of color, making them more vulnerable to homelessness. Discriminatory housing policies like redlining have long-term effects on the ability of racial minorities to own homes and accumulate wealth, contributing to higher rates of homelessness among these groups. Redlining is a practice that constitutes discrimination against potential consumers by withholding services, including financial and housing, from those who live in neighborhoods deemed hazardous to investment due to the high concentration of low-income and racial, ethnic minority populations in these areas. Natural disasters and the effects of climate change disproportionately impact the most vulnerable populations, including those experiencing or at risk of homelessness. Events like hurricanes, wildfires, and floods can destroy homes and communities, leaving people without shelter. The increasing frequency and intensity of these disasters strain the already limited resources available for emergency housing and long-term recovery. The availability of stable, well-paying jobs is crucial for preventing homelessness. However, many regions of the United States have seen a decline in manufacturing and other industries that traditionally provided such opportunities. 
The growth of low-wage, part-time, and gig economy jobs often does not offer sufficient income or benefits to afford housing, leading to a precarious living situation for many workers. Addressing homelessness in the United States requires a multifaceted approach that tackles the root causes of the issue. This includes increasing the availability of affordable housing, addressing income inequality, combating systemic racism, improving access to mental health and substance abuse treatment, strengthening the social safety net, providing support for survivors of domestic violence, preparing for the impacts of natural disasters and climate change, and creating more stable, well-paying jobs. Comprehensive policy solutions and sustained investment in these areas are essential to reversing the rise in homelessness and ensuring that all Americans have access to safe, stable, and affordable housing. If you do enjoy the content on my channel, I'd greatly appreciate your support. Please consider subscribing to stay updated on future uploads and giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Your support means the world to me, and it helps the channel grow.